Okay, now, <clears throat> where we're going to go from here is we're going to start using Cruller and to do the co various color schemes. Now, I asked you to not only use our website on D2L, but also Presentation Zen has a terrific color um, scheme chapter that I hope you look at and you will consider some of the color schemes that you might use. The one that I'm requiring you to do is mono, monochromatic. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up um, extensions and we're going to go to Cruller. Okay, here what I've done already and you haven't seen it, but what I've done is I've actually created a monochromatic color scheme and I'm clicking on that. Now I can take this and I can move this anywhere around the um, around around the uh, color wheel, and we can make a pretty interesting color scheme if we if you want to. Um, let's try to do something a little bit more in the magenta family. That sounds pretty good. Okay, this one here is a little bit darker. Okay, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to just uh, kind of, what's happening here is I'm making it a little bit lighter. Now, what I would recommend is that you don't use tons of different colors. I think what's going to ha would happen is if you use something that has a little bit more um, um, saturation, maybe something a little lighter, and then something uh, that goes off a little darker, I think you'll be you'll have more success with this particular exercise. Okay, now, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to choose the darkest color, and if I double click on this color, what you'll see is in my color, uh, foreground color, that has turned to that kind of deep purple, which is kind of nice. I'm going to close this up, okay? Now, I'm going to kind of do just the opposite of what I've done before, and I'm going to choose um, the lighter gray areas. Okay, those are the areas that I want to choose. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill them. Okay, that's the purple. Now Command D, deselect. That's kind of nice too, isn't it? That is uh, a chromatic um, plus one color. Um, that could be a choice that you might want to use later on. Okay, come back here to Cruller. Okay, now what I'm going to do is maybe pick up um, a more uh, brilliant color, more saturated. Let's see what happens with that one. Okay, and because of my speed, I haven't thought this really through. I should have probably done a few um, uh, thumbnails before I started, but let's see what I get. Okay, so I'm going to try these, and again, I'm going to go to Fill, Whoa, that's really bright. Well, let's see if we can take and cause these. And I'm holding down, again, magic wand. And I'm holding down my shift key as I select these other areas. And again, go back to Cruller. And let's try something a little bit muddier. I'm going to try to keep them both. I think I might have more success as far as creating something that's interesting to look at, um, provided that it is maybe more on the dark side. Okay, I don't think I double clicked on that. Let's go back, double click. There we go. Now that's changed the color. Okay, and again, I'm going to go back to my fill, foreground color. Okay, well, not the most successful piece that I've ever done. Um, I'm going to come back and grab these. Let's see, maybe do a little bit lighter. Let's just see. Okay, let's go back to Cruller. OK, 
Okay, maybe lighter would work better. What I can do is I can kind of slide this down. Slide it down. Okay, maybe lighten it up even more. Double click on it. Close it so I can see what I can, I'm doing. Okay, now I'm going to go to Edit, Fill, Foreground. It's a little off. I gotta say, it's a little off. You know what? Maybe let's try that. Let's see if I just grab that and now go to see if I fill that and see what happens. Okay. Well, that's kind of interesting. Okay, if I hold down the shift key, maybe I can, or option key, I can minus one of those areas. No, not very much luck here. Okay, I'm going to go to five. Let's go to five here. Well, I can't seem to separate those areas. But you get the idea. Okay, it, it, it. A nice color scheme, I think. Pretty much okay. Command D. Okay, so that would be a monochromatic color scheme. Um, again, you have analogous that you could use. A chromatic um, plus one. You could use a compound, a compound, um, con, uh, compound, complementary color. Uh, you could use a triad. So there are lots of different possibilities that you could use for that for your other for your other um, other portion of this assignment. I'm going to, again, I'm going to go save as and here I'm just going to call it mono. Save it. Okay, and if I wanted to print it, print. And again, make sure it's eight inches. I'm going to have to take and I'm going to have to take and trim it down to size before I present it in class. But there you go. We're all done. Okay, well, I hope that helps. Um, and I'll see you in class Wednesday. Bye-bye.